Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in Microsoft Configuration Manager series. In this video, we will break down how the Microsoft Configuration Manager handles the content deployment through the distribution points and distribution point groups. You will learn how to configure the distribution points, manage the distribution point groups, and effectively distributing the content to ensure a reliable software delivery across your infrastructure. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In case you are new to this channel, please subscribe it for future updates. Well, the first thing first, what is a distribution point? A distribution point is a side system role in Configuration Manager that stores the files required for the software deployment. These applications or updates or the operating system images are distributed through the distribution points. Clients connect to the distribution points to download the content. This helps reducing the van traffic and speeding up the deployment time. As far as the distribution point groups are concerned, these are the logical groups of the distribution points that works as a single unit. When you distribute the content to a group, all members of the distribution point groups receive the content. This is perfect for managing content delivery by region, department or the site locations. This saves your time and efforts. Here is a high level look at the content distribution. So the first thing you do is you configure your distribution points and groups as required. Then you distribute the content like the applications drivers or the operating system images to either individual distribution points or the distribution point groups. Finally, you monitor the distribution status to ensure that the successful delivery takes place. As far as the best practices are concerned for distribution points, you should use the distribution point groups to simplify the deployments. Number two is you should use the remote locations Consider the pre-staging content or use the pull distribution points to minimize the bandwidth utilization. You should always monitor the distribution points health. You should plan distributions during the off-peak hours to avoid the network congestions. Well, in this demonstration, I'll show you how do you deploy the distribution points and manage them. How do you deploy the distribution point groups and then you distribute the content to these distribution point groups for all the distribution points as members of these groups and how do you validate this content or how do you monitor that whether the content is distributed properly. Well, without any further ado, let's have a look into the demonstration. This is a member server Toronto Server 2 which I will promote into a distribution point in my configuration manager. For this, I will set up the permissions required and uh, to the administrators group of this server, I will add my configuration manager server to provide the permissions. So here you see the local users and groups, administrators group, and I will add the configuration manager server. We'll select the object types computers over here so that I can have a computer account added to the local admins group. Click OK and we'll search for the London CFG machine. Well, the London CFG computer account is added as local administrator on this server. I have moved to the configuration manager server and moving to the site configuration under administration, administration and servers and sites system roles where I will create the site system server. Right now I have only one server which is London CFG and many roles are running like component server DP, MP. Now I'm selecting that Toronto server 2 from here and will install the distribution point role on that server. So this is the server. We'll select it. We'll choose the site code for this which is S01, a datum site I have. We'll click next. I don't need the proxy. We'll select the role for this server. So this Toronto server 2 will be my distribution point. I will check this box and will next. And uh, on this, I will provide it a description Toronto DP and install and configure the IIS if required. 
will have the communication over HTTP. I can do the certificate binding and over the HTTPS. The drive is space reserve. I have reserved the space 500 mag where it will be used. Then I can configure rest of the settings. Like if I have any pull distribution point, PXE settings, multicast settings, I can define the content validation schedule that how frequently the content will be validated. The content validation is actually used to validate the consistency or the integrity of the content available on the DP so that without any issues it can be distributed to the clients. This content can be your applications, packages, drivers, operating system images etc. Well now that we have the distribution point deployed so if I go to the administration I show you the distribution points. I have uh, the two servers right now in this uh, site server configuration so this is one another dp so if i go to the distribution points i have two of them i don't have any distribution point group and as i mentioned earlier in the introduction that i can put multiple distribution points into a distribution point group so that i can efficiently uh, distribute the content so i'm creating a new distribution point group will provide it a friendly name for an instance London distribution points and I have selected these two members added them to this distribution point groups later you will see that I will be distributing the content to the group and these two members will automatically retrieve that content now the next step I will perform is I will distribute the content to these uh, servers for that I will go to the software library and there i have application management applications so what resource it is application package that you want to distribute this is my xml notepad 2007 i will be distributing it to the management uh, distribution point group so we'll click on distribute content once i click on that so it comes up with the content that i want to distribute and we'll select the content from here the content destination will be a distribution point group so from the add button this drop down button will let you decide that you want to distribute it to a collection distribution point or distribution point group so this is my london distribution points distribution point group to which i want to distribute this content and then we'll next and we'll click complete so next and close this well, the content has been distributed so for monitoring that i can go to the monitor and there from i can see the status of the content deployment so here we have the distribution status that what is the content status here and as you see this xml notepad 2007 you can go to view status of this it was targeted to a distribution point group so the this is the asset so this was successfully distributed now i can go to the administration and go to the distribution points and uh, there from i can run the validation i can verify that the content is distributed to this distribution point group or distribution point from the properties of the distribution point server so if i go and validate this for the integrity that with the source and this distribution point has the same content it has consistency all the distribution points have the same version to be distributed to the clients so for that reason we can do this sort of validation on the distribution points this uh, mitigates the chances of failure of your applications or packages and then click ok now i can go to the monitor and uh, from here i have this distribution status that i shown you earlier and uh, from the distribution status if i expand i have this content status and uh, in the content status this is the xml notepad 2007 and the status of this notepad file or application so content distribution xml notepad and successfully processed content on distribution point and this is the london cfg and the last status time you can see is 7th of july 2025 based on the time date time configuration on my machine now i can go to the uh, software library i can see my application i can uh, 
uh, see this application which is xml notepad 2007 and its status so i can right click and open the properties of it to see and i can see the um, content location where it is available so it is available on london cfg and as well as on the toronto server too now if required i can remove the content from a particular distribution point as well and uh, for that i can go to the distribution points and remove this content from the required server so as you have seen that distribution points come under the administration so distribution point this is uh, my london cfg i'll keep the content here but from toronto server 2 i will remove this content so if that is a requirement you can right click and go to the properties of the distribution point server there you have the option for content and choose the content that you want to remove so where you have seen the option was there to validate here we have the option to redistribute or to remove the content this is how we can remove the content from a distribution point i hope this video was informative to you you got a fair understanding of distribution point and distribution point groups